Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Foley High School alma mater. for you today, so listen up, because this is the, the Lion Pride, Pride News. News. Good morning, Fire High School. My name is George Austin. Here are today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Alaya Hur. Kevin Russell, Marlene Bushnell, and Madeline Rebzinski. And for Sunday's birthdays, happy birthday to Christian Escalante, Shaughnessy Edwards, Dee Mickles, and Veronica Knox. Have a great day and a happy birthday. Today's quote of the day is, you become what you read, you become what you listen to, you become what you watch, you become what you think, so choose wisely. Foley High School's annual blood drive will be Tuesday, October 23rd. Because of crises this year, such as Hurricane Florence, the Red Cross is critically low on blood, so it's very important that you donate. Just one pint of blood can save three lives. If you would like to give blood, the first thing you need is to have a consent form. All students, no matter the age, must have a signed consent form, and the consent forms are due by October 8th. If you are interested in giving blood, you should receive a consent form in your homeroom. There will be a Model UN meeting immediately after school Wednesday in room 210. The meeting will last until about 345, so have a ride at that time. Good morning, guys. There will be a meeting for senior homeroom reps and officers right after school Thursday in Ms. Cody's room. Make sure you're there at room 805. Seniors, turn in all scholarship offers, even if you do not accept them, to Ms. Portera in room 914. Seniors will be taking the work keys test tomorrow. Don't forget, you have permission for early release from the exam, only if 95% or more of you are present to take the test. Seniors, join us Thursday evening in the library at 6 p.m. for our FAFSA night completion project. Completing the FAFSA is an important first step because most financial aid is not available without this form being completed. <laughs> to all Mr. and Ms. FHS contestants, please make sure to check Google Classroom for information about the contest. Remember to check deadlines and make sure you're turning everything in on time. Ms. Tyron has also created a reminder for the project. The code is Mr. Miss F O L. That is M R M I S S F O L. Hey, seniors, Mrs. Hill here. Have you ever had a teacher maybe not treat you quite right or dish you? Have you wanted to get back at them? Well, here's your opportunity to leave it all on the court. On October the 22nd, we will have a ticketed event during fourth block, faculty versus seniors in a volleyball match. So please come by 408 to get signed up. Again, that's seniors only. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Okay, I see. Hey guys, 
Miss Morel Baxter, the career coach here. I just wanted to announce that on October 9th, while all the underclassmen are testing, seniors, we're asking that you engage in a job shadowing day. This is a really rewarding opportunity where you get to go out in the community and actually shadow people that you're interested in their career. This will allow you to make an informed decision about your career choice. So how do you job shadow? We have three forms here. You have to turn in the job shadowing application, the field trip form, and the transportation agreement. And you have to all get these signed by your parents and turn them into your homeroom teacher by October the 4th. After October the 4th, I will take these up from your homeroom teachers and get you on the list. The second step that you have to do is you have to sign up with a Sign Up Genius link. That link is provided in your single, senior Google Classroom. You'll Even if you're signing up your own job shadowing, you'll need to put what you're signing up for in the Sign Up Genius link. I also have opportunities provided in there that you can sign up with as well. No matter what you're doing, you must sign up through the Sign Up Genius link. And third, but not last, be present for your day and please dress appropriately. I hope y'all really enjoy this day. I think it'll be a really rewarding opportunity for you guys. So Ms. Baxter, where do I get those forms? <laughs> so all three forms are provided on your senior Google Classroom under the folder Job Shadowing. Thank you. So tell me about this Aviation Mechanics Tour Mobile. Yes, so on the Sign Up Genius link, we have one opportunity for Job Shadowing Day where we'll be taking a bus from Foley High School to Mobile to BTMAE where if you're interested in being anything in aviation, aviation mechanic, uh, engineer, you need to sign up for that opportunity. We have 30 slots and we'll be leaving on October 9th from the school on a school bus for the aviation tour. So Ms. Baxter, do we have to do this job shadow on October 9th? Okay, seniors, for October 9th, the job shadow is not mandatory, but it is highly encouraged. And remember, the way that you get approved for job shadow is to fill out all three of these forms. If you don't do the job shadow, you must be at school. I'm Michael Bingert. And I'm Cindy Quintero. And this is the Locker Room Report. Tonight, the JV football team will be at Spanish Fort starting at 6.30. And tomorrow, beginning at 5.30, the swimming team will be at Fairhope Pool going against Daphne, Baldwin County, and Gold Shores. The volleyball team has a full slate this week, beginning tomorrow afternoon with the home match against Gulf Shores. The JV will start around 4.30, followed by the varsity around 5.30. Wednesday, they will be in Pensacola against Escambia High School. JV begins at 5, and the varsity at 6. And Thursday, the Lady Lions will be in Fairhope, with the JV starting at 4.30 and the varsity at 5.30. Friday, varsity football will be in Mobile for a conference game against McGill Tolan. And that is all from your locker room report. Welcome back to another week fully high school. Today for lunch, we'll be having a meatball sub, roasted potatoes, raw broccoli, brownie, fruit, and don't forget your grab and go. Have a great day. Well, those are all the announcements we have for you today on your Daily Lion Pride News. This has been London Marcella. And Zach Van Welsman. Today is Monday, October 1st, Blue Day. And shout-outs go to... Caitlin McDaniel and Tyler Hammonds. Have a great day, Foley High School.